So, uh, time for the next Road to Max Cape. I believe this is episode 6. Um, I do have quite a few levels stored up. You will see those later on in the video where I show the clips. Um, please keep in mind that most of my levels I got just through slaying because when I have been on this count, I have not played an awful lot, to be completely honest with you guys, because I've been so in love with PVMing on my main account, and I can't really PVM on this account too well because it's such low stats. Um, but anyway, yeah, I'll, I'll play on this account a fair amount, and I know myself, and I know that I do get bored pretty easily of doing stuff, so I imagine um, within a few days or something like that, I'll probably get bored of PVMing and come back on this account and do some skilling, so that's probably what's going to happen. Anyway, um, I did change my name to Frankfurters. I don't know, I really don't know why I changed my name to that. Um, it was really late, and I was tired, and I was feeling a bit silly. I wasn't drunk or high or anything. I was just, I guess, I was goofing off with a friend in real life. Um, and I guess we just got a little too silly, and I changed my name to Frankfurters. But anyway, that's besides the point. Um, what I mostly wanted to talk about is I am probably won't be playing on this account too much during the next few days because I'm going to be trying to get some necks done on my main account, um, get some Glacors done as well. I need... Uh, a few more Glacor shards to finish up my second Glacor battle staff. So I'm probably going to be doing mostly PVM for the next few days on my main account. Like, I have not even been logging on this account to do farm runs. I've missed, yeah, about three days worth of farm runs. And that's kind of a good thing because it means I've been really, really enjoying RS a lot lately on my main. Um, not that I don't enjoy playing on this account. It's just it's been so much fun to play on my main. But um, anyway, once I do get back to this account... Um, Mostly what I'll what I will likely do is slay, try to get that 80 attack, and then uh, dungeoneer and try to get myself a chaotic weapon. Um, that's probably the plan. So anyway, I just have some levels in store for you guys. So do enjoy these, and if you're a fan of the series or something, you might have to be a little bit patient for me to upload another episode. But I'm not going to forget about this account or anything. I'll get back to it eventually. Um, anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, on to the levels. So, getting into the levels for this episode in the uh, the Road to Max Cape, my first one was Agility. Um, I got that from the Jack of Trades, like I often tend to do. I try to remember to do that Jack of Trades every time that well, I see it in my bank, and I just say, hey, let's go do the Jack of Trades. And I also got a Thieving level, so I'm 67 Thieving. I believe that was from a Pyramid Plunder daily challenge that I had or something like that. And I was really close to 70 Mage, and I just kind of couldn't resist, so I decided to go into the Abyss and did some Bloodbursting on the Abyss monsters just to get to 70 Mage really fast so I could use my Black Salamander for Slayer because I had a Black Demon's Task, and obviously they're weak to range, and I didn't want to use my old Red Salamander for them. But anyway, um, I just got 70 Mage really fast. It was actually really relaxing just doing that in the Abyss, and it didn't take long at all. Uh, and this was 70 range, which actually happened before the uh, Abyss training, and I got 70 Mage. But uh, I've just been, what I've been doing is ordering the clips by the level, and not in chronological order, because frankly I have no idea what the chronological order is. But um, I also had one of the Spiritual Warrior tasks, and that was incredibly annoying, and I hated it. Uh, it wasn't very fun, but that was that got me to 71 mage in the God Wars dungeon. They actually were kind of decent money because you got a lot of rune items as drops from the Spiritual Warriors. Um, and this is 71 range. I was still using the um, Red Salamander because I found out that you could not use the Black Salamander until you had 70 mage as well. Originally, I thought you only needed 70 range for it, but that was a bit annoying. Um, this is 72 fire making. I think I was just AFKing it up a bit while working on some other stuff and decided, hey, you know, I might as well do some fire making. Um, as you can see from the clips so far and the clips coming up, um, most of them, the vast majority of them, are going to be combat clips. Um, I pretty much got almost all of these just while training Slayer. Uh, I got a few random levels, such as the fire making level. Not while training Slayer, but the most most of the clips that I got are either Slayer levels or combat levels that I got while training Slayer. Here's 74 range. Um, using the Black Salamander now, this is from Mature Grot Worms, which is a great task, probably my favorite task, because... Jagex updated them, so they have a lot more hit points, so they actually have a lot more HP now, so that really helps a lot. Um, so you get a lot more Slayer XP for killing them. It used to give, it used to be terrible XP but decent money, and now it's good XP and decent money there. So um, that's really nice with the Mature Grot Worms. And I had to do Blood Velds, unfortunately that is an awful task. One of the worst until you have the um, the other mutated Blood Velds unlocked, whatever they're called, but you have to quest for that, and I'd rather not. 
Um, so I got through that and got an HP level as well. I almost always miss HP levels, so it's really weird actually catching one of those on camera just because they kind of sneak up on you. Um, here was 75 Slayer, which means I can kill Gargoyles now, and uh, also unlocks Curadel, but I do need 160 combat for that. So I just need to wait um, until I reach level 160 combat before I can use Curadel. And later on in the same task, I got 75 Strength as well, which means I go back to training and attack, which means I'll be getting combat levels again. So I need to get to, I believe, 80 attack and 78 defense or something along those lines. Uh, probably higher than that. I'm really bad with math. But I need to train a bit before I can actually use Curadel. So it's going to be pretty exciting to actually get my stats up to a level where I can use her. Um, and here is a construction daily that I did. And I got 76 construction from doing that. So that was pretty nice. Free construction XP. You can't really argue with that. Um, but anyway, I just have to work up towards uh, getting Curadel unlocked because that would be really helpful. Um, and here is a pretty big level. This is 80 farming, and I believe I have another farming clip coming up afterwards. But just, you know, doing those papaya trees and calcot tree. I do, um, yeah, five papaya trees and a calcot tree in the mornings, and that helps quite a bit towards farming XP. And I've been neglecting doing that a little bit lately just because I've been so focused on my main account. Um, but I also got a few effigy drops. Here's the first one. Just got a screenshot of it during a Hellhounds task, which is the most AFK task in the game, uh, the way that I choose to do it. And I kind of probably just ruined uh, the way I choose to do, chose to do it, the method, with that screenshot. But um, anyway, this is Black Demons. I got an effigy from them as well. I believe that was my second effigy. And my third effigy, another screenshot just while doing a Death Devils task. That was really cool. Quite a few effigies. Pretty happy about that, to to say the least.